the old people were walking around in their backs like this is from this. Yeah, they pointed it out. Furthermore, I said, ah, mashallah, that was something. Then, uh, that was like 1981 when I came across that. Alhamdulillah, from then on, I used to mention it in lectures and so on. So people could see, you know, this is benefits there, something that you can't imagine. 1,400 years ago, Muslims, when the Baby, you can call me a superman Hey guys, welcome back to our channel It's your girl Fanny Lungu Back with another reaction video So today I'm going to be reacting to um, The sleeping position Allah does not like hmm. This seems interesting Very, very interesting if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. An incident from the Prophet Sallallahu life in which he said on one occasion when he saw an individual lying on the ground by the name of Ya'ish ibn Tikhafa. He saw him lying on the ground on his stomach. So he came and he nudged him with his foot. When he woke up and he looked at the Prophet ﷺ, he told him, this is the method of lying which God hates. People commonly, they like to sleep on the stomach. And I know this is one of the etiquettes of sleeping in Islam. And I remember on one occasion when I was in Panama, uh, teaching a course there, and in etiquettes, Islamic etiquettes, and I spoke on this. Afterwards, people asked me, why? Why is it this light to sleep on your stomach? And I really didn't have an answer. Anyway, I just told them, hey, Prophet Muhammad said, God hates it, dislikes it, better you don't do it. From there, I was flying to Guyana to do a course in Guyana also. Whilst I was on the airplane, I was reading the Time magazine. And this Time Magazine issue was dedicated to the latest developments in spinal surgery. They were showing the latest medical uh, hardware and how it dealt with the problems of slip discs and crushed discs and the different operations they were doing and they showed pictures of people's back cut open and you know. And at the end of it all, they had a list of doctors' recommendations to avoid spinal problems. Number one on the list was don't sleep on your stomach. That was number one. And they went on to explain. They gave a whole explanation about it. Yes, the spine, heavy, bony structure, heaviest one in your whole body. When you sleep on your stomach, everything in front of it is soft tissue, soft organs. Your, your intestines, your stomach, your lungs, all of this is soft. So what happens is that this the spine sags downwards and this is what contributes to the exaggerated what they call lumbar cur curvature of the spine you old people they are walking around their backs are like this is from this yeah they pointed it out furthermore i said ah, mashallah, that was something then uh that was like 1981 when i came across that alhamdulillah from then on i used to mention it in lectures and so on so people could see you know this is benefits there, something that you can't imagine. 1,400 years ago, Muslims, when the Prophet ﷺ said, don't do it because it's hated by Allah, they stopped doing it. Though they used to like to sleep on the stomach just as we do. And over these 1,400 years, they benefited. All the people who didn't do it were harmed in one way or another. So I said, Hashem, and that's how we should approach the things which Allah has prohibited and disliked that it's better not to do it stay away from it because there's harm in it even if we can't see where the harm is anyway in 1989 I read an article which appeared in the British newspapers that scientists medical scientists studying a particular illness which seemed to be affecting small children one-year-old two-year-old three-year-old kids put to sleep in their cribs, they die in their sleep. They call it crib death or sudden death syndrome, SDS, different names they give to it. But they don't, didn't know why, what was causing. So medical researchers did some uh, statistical studies. They sent out researchers to people whose children had died and they 
gathered up information about what the circumstances of the home was, what type of beds they put them in, what was the temperature of the rooms, all kinds of information. Anything they could think of that was related to the circumstance in which the child went to sleep that might possibly have a common factor, which would then be the danger factor. When they fed this stuff into computers, correlated the results, up popped what? Children being put to sleep on their stomachs. So they made a major announcement across England, front page news, doctors warn parents, do not put your children to sleep on their stomachs. Anyway, the point is that seven years later, in 1996, the researchers, after making this a standard part of, you could say, the information given to people who just had children, this kind of stuff, hospital information, advising parents, don't put your children to sleep on the stomach, and this, world, this countrywide campaign to make this known, they found that after seven years, the rate of cot death had dropped by some 68 or something like this percent. It had dropped drastically. So, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, here is further evidence that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1,400 years ago, when there, nobody had any idea of what harm there was, how did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam know that God hated it? Do you think he just looked at the person and said, oh, I think God hates this. Uh, let me tell him God hates this. No. Obviously, Angel Gabriel came and told him, when he saw the man lying there, he told him that God, Allah hates lying on the stomach. So he passed on that revelation that came to him. This was a nice video. I mean, um, I always like to say sometimes we human beings are quite ignorant because certain things were being told they in our Bibles, they in the Quran, that everyone, some parents, some of our parents don't go as far as saying they in our holy books, but actually tell us that we're not supposed to be sleeping in certain positions. But we choose to ignore that, not knowing that we're actually affecting ourselves. There are people in this world that actually don't like um, medication. So if you don't like medication, why not prevent some of these things? If you know sleeping in such a position is going to harm your backbone, why not avoid it so that you avoid the entire medication thing going on? It's something to think about, but I think I've had this before. I've had it somewhere, but I don't think the person explained to me what it was for. And I would also like to know if we're not supposed to sleep on our backs then, how are we supposed to sleep? No, not our backs. If we're not supposed to sleep on our stomachs, um, in what position are we supposed to sleep in? This is clear proof that, um, this is just clear proof that religion is not so ignorant of lifestyles too. Because if you look at this, this is coming from the Bible and it was Muhammad who passed on the message saying Allah doesn't like this. I don't know why Allah doesn't like it though. Is it because it's affecting his people? It's making them sick? I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, if you know anyone or if you're one of those people that actually know why Allah doesn't like people sleeping on their um, stomachs please let us know down in the comment section below and also um, that's pretty much it it was quite a short video it was a nice message this is something people everyone really has to look into I think I sleep on my side or something I'm not sure if that's the best way to sleep but that's what I do and a big shout out to the person that suggested this video, the people that have been subscribing and giving us reactions each and every day. You guys motivate us to continue doing this. And yeah, let me know what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about this video right here. If you've got more information, just 
comment 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 and we'll see everything and my hair just doesn't want to act right today but the show must go on so yeah see you in my next reaction video